Hi Aquarius, this is Lucky with Lucky 7 Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is going to be your September 2022 general reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you if it does great. If it doesn't, please check out your Moon and Rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to book a personal reading with me. My website is Lucky7Tarot.com. Um, I do have readings available for a limited time. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Remember that these messages can resonate in the reverse, and I might be, I'm doing this reading for love, but these could be um, playing out in other areas of your life as well. All right, so let's do this. Tell me what's at the heart of the matter for Aquarius. The lovers, all right? Okay. I feel like you feel very connected to someone, but you have options. I'm also seeing where somebody is holding back. Could be a Gemini energy, maybe an Aries. You got lots of Gemini energy just showing up off rip. Um, make sure you guys hit the like button for me on the video so I know that you like this type of content. It just encourages me to keep posting them. Um, and let me know what your sun sign is and the sun sign of the person you're thinking of in this video. Tell me what's the challenge when it comes to Aquarius. The star? You're your own challenge, Aquarius? Come on. <sighs> Wouldn't be an Aquarius reading without something going on here. Okay, Aquarius, you hold yourself back from having... I'm already seeing what's happening here. You literally have the star and you've got judgment. You hold yourself back um, because of a relationship or a situation that happened in the past. All right. A lot of you have not gotten over that. You're still healing. You've built a wall around yourself and you overthink about this, overthink about the past. Some of you are trying to heal from it, um, but it's not easy because you do, you are moving forward, but you're still looking back. All right. Is what I'm seeing here. Some of you. This could also have to do with the challenge having something to do with um, the truth about someone or something from the past. Let's see. Tell me what happened in the past. The Ace of Cups. There was a bad breakup. Somebody, some of you learned the truth about this person. Some of you, this was like somebody that like cut off communication with you. I feel like Somebody here did walk away and you had invested a lot of time and effort into this situation. You felt like this was going to go the distance, you know, um, but there was definitely like an ending to a significant relationship for you in the past. Tell me what's hidden regarding this situation for Aquarius. The nine of swords. I hate this. Because a lot of you are afraid of relationships. There's like a huge fear of being in a commitment. You overthink it. You know, you're afraid. You've got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Like, there's a lot of fear of being stuck in, in relationships. Fear of moving on. All right. Some of you are afraid to get married. Is what I'm getting to. Let me see what is um what's on your mind. The four of cups. The knight of wands in reverse. A lot of you just get bored. I feel like you you either are bored in relationships or you don't really appreciate um you don't appreciate anyone. I feel like a lot of you are just in this place of like, you have no desire. You to really put effort into a relationship. Who has similar cards to this? Aries, I think. Like, but it's kind of like you felt unappreciated in the past for some of you, and like it just turned you sour. I'm getting like a bitter energy for some. Let's see what's happening for you in the near future. The Seven of Cups. You guys are going to have a lot of options. 
in the near future. You're going to be keeping your options open. Remember, everything that glitters isn't gold with the Seven of Cups, all right? Um, some of you are going to be like uh, not necessarily being honest. Or for some of you, this could be that if you are in a relationship, there could be the, your other person that has other options when it comes to this situation, right? They may not be telling you the truth about that. We'll find out more when I clarify what's in Aquarius's control here. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What the the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you, I'm telling you, you're walking away from anything that does not. It's almost like I just want to be honest. It. I feel like because a lot of you have this fear of commitment. I'm getting Seinfeld energy. If any of you have ever watched Seinfeld, um, he used to find like the smallest details of something wrong with a person. Like her toenail polish may not match her fingernail polish. And that would be like a reason that he didn't want to talk to her anymore. Like, and I feel like that's where you guys are. It may not be exactly that, but it's like you look for something wrong in everyone just to have a reason not to have something committed in long term just to have a reason not to fully invest yourself you won't let anybody get far and you don't put the work in you know um some of you are dealing still dealing with a, a significant ending um, of a relationship in your life that maybe you felt like was I feel like that was supposed to be your end-all be-all and you were so hung up on however that ended that it affects every relationship going forward because you're still not fully healed how does Aquarius see this the chariot the three of cups the strength card you got or three of pentacles reverse the strength card the queen of swords like a lot of you i think you're just going through the motions you're gonna have choices here you feel like you can have whatever you want but like you don't i just see a lot of bitterness you don't you have trust issues a lot of you feel like whatever happened to you in the past happened to you not for you you may have felt like somebody was being sneaky you know and i think you've been in this place of like waiting for things to come together as far as love and relationships are concerned but you don't really want to put a whole lot of effort into it either a lot of you even have like issues with control like you want to be in control you want to be the one in power you know that type of thing what's in aquarius's hopes and fears <laughs> wow the hierophant if that's not so accurate and you got the nine of cups in reverse a lot of you are afraid like you want a relationship you want to be in a long-term committed connection everybody wants that subconsciously even if they say they don't because no one wants to be alone like that's not fun we're not built to be alone, all right? Um, it's not our inhuman nature, so to speak. Everything in our body, even like dopamine is released when you give a person a hug. You know, every chemical and hormone in our bodies reacts to physical touch, reacts to external um, appreciation, um, positive affirmations from others things like that we are not physically scientifically built to just be in a bubble in a box by ourselves it if you look at the science of it it will actually change your anatomy it creates physical trauma to the body all right so with that being said you want you want to be in a committed relationship. You want to be happy. You just don't think that you will be. Like, you'll never get exactly what you want. 
feel like a lot of you guys are also afraid to get exactly what you want. You don't put in the effort. Some of you don't put in the effort because like I said, I think you're afraid to heal as well. You want to heal from something that ended in the past with the death card, but you're afraid to heal. You want something new and solid, but you're afraid to have something new and solid. So you don't put any effort towards it. Very, I mean, I don't know. Let's see, what is the outcome here, Aquarius? The Ace of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Cups. A lot of you are not being honest with yourself about what you need to walk away from, what you need to leave alone. And I don't even mean a person. I mean like your bad habits. You can't want real love. You cannot. And not do the work on yourself to have it. I'm going to show you the card that flung out for you in the pre-shuffle right now. Just because it so much aligns with this reading. I was like, wow. Let go of control issues. You guys want to be in control so bad. But control is really an illusion. It's... And I just feel like you've dealt with so much trauma. Some of y'all need to see a therapist, for real. Like, you need to go to therapy. All right? Let's see. And I'm not trying to say that to call you out. I'm trying to say that because some... I, first of all, I'm not a yes ma'am type of person. So I'm not going to yes you to death and, you know, tell you that you guys... You know, yeah, you're doing great and everything's going to be awesome and whatever. It will be if you choose for it to be. If you put in the work for it to be. And sometimes that requires you getting out of your comfort zone. If you fell down the first time or the first 20 times, it's not about the fact that you fell down. Okay, how many times can you get back up and keep going? You know, if you give up, you're never going to get what you really want. All right? If you stay in a safe space, you're never going to reach the goal that you're trying to achieve. You're never going to have that life that you want. You're always going to be in that two of wands energy where you're holding yourself back. You get to see, you can visualize that life. You can see it, but you can't reach out and touch it, you know, because you choose to still hang on to your ego. You choose to still hang on to the past hurt and pain and try to lug it around and carry it with you. When it's an external piece of you that you can really, if you do the work, you can cut that off of you and lose that weight. And when you do, you feel freer, you feel happier. Why is the um, lovers, the three of wands in reverse? This is at the heart of the matter. The six of swords in reverse. A lot of you have just not moved on. From something you haven't moved on from somebody that you felt very connected to at one point in your life you know I feel like you try to act like you're okay and you're not okay you're still dealing with it why is the star the challenge the seven of wands what did I say you push everybody away the star not only represents Aquarius, and look at that, there's that two of wands energy. I cannot make this up, I swear. So like, you push everybody away. You have, the challenge for you is the star, which is yourself, but it's also a new beginning, healing, right? A lot of you push people away. You're in this place where you push people away because either you're still healing or because you're afraid, you're still holding on to the past. You got choices to make here. You know, you're still holding on to something that didn't work out before. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse in the past? The Page of Pentacles. Judgment. There was a situation in the past that I feel like it was very unfortunate. There was a lot of instability there. There was a lot of... Somebody could have ghosted you or stopped talking to you. I feel like it was actually like a very drama situation. Some of you have kids with this person. Tell me why the Nine of Swords is here. The Hermit in Reverse. 
the seven of cups <laughs> listen a lot of you the what you try to hide is your fear some of you even try to hide the fact that like there's a lot of confusion that you feel over relationships some of you self-sabotage relationships you know um Yeah, you got to break free of that. Why is the Four of Cups here on Aquarius's mind? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Damn. There was definitely secrets, things hidden that made you feel really, really bitter. I feel like a lot of you are just in negative thought. You don't see the blessings. You don't, you feel bored with life. You feel bored with relationships in some way. Some of you just get bored easily. Why is the seven of cups here? The nine of wands in reverse. The six of cups. Okay, so in the near future, for a lot of you, I like this part. I see you letting go or releasing the past and opening your options to other opportunities in the near future. I like that for you. I do. It's important that you let go of the past. All right. It's important that you're putting one foot in front of the other. Why the Ten of Pentacles reversing your control? The Page of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. It's in your control whether or not you want to take this chance. You want to... I think a lot of you... You know, there was something that fell apart in your life. that made you give up on relationships all the way together, all right? And you have the power here to move forward, to move forward from this, but it's gonna be up to you. Why the chariot? The nine of pentacles. <laughs> this is your view on the situation and the seven of cups. Your view, okay, Aquarius. Your view is I would rather just be by myself and be with who I want to be with and like talk to who I want to talk to, whether it's two people, 10 people or nobody, because I don't want to be serious about nobody and just keep my options open. Like that's for some of you. For others, you view somebody else that way. But for many of you, I feel like this is you. Like you just want to do your own thing. Because you're afraid of being hurt. You're afraid of being hurt. Some of you do have somebody, though, that you feel very emotionally connected to. Um, but I think that's what scares you. All right. Tell me, <laughs> tell me why the Hierophant is uh, in Aquarius's hopes and fears. The High Priestess in reverse. And Justice. A lot of you, you want an equal give and take relationship. That's what you hope for. You know, you hope that it's going to come into your life. You're, you fear that as well. You fear having an equal give and take relationship. Some of you don't even trust your own intuition when it comes to to people or relationships like you're not sensitive to your spiritual gifts right now and that's because you're still in ego mode tell me more about this the king of pentacles in reverse the ace of swords you feel like you know the truth about everyone some of you are dealing with a capricorn i also see gemini taurus could be an earth sign maybe a pisces as well but um, I just feel like you're afraid of offering stability because you're afraid of having something serious. Because it requires you to let go of something and really invest yourself. And I don't think you're really prepared to do that. 
I think that there's a fear of doing that, a fear of investing yourself into a relationship where somebody could just all of a sudden switch up their energy. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse the outcome? Judgment. A lot of you don't want to see the truth about the past. Some of you are... I will say, I feel like slowly you are like releasing yourself and kind of opening yourself up. Some of you are really opening up old wounds. Let me see. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Swords. You're getting over some type of fear about what happened. I do see you healing. I feel like it's such a slow process. I don't think you're going to be getting back together with anyone from the past. I feel like especially with this person that left you high and dry and did this horrible traumatic damage to you. But I do see you finally like recognizing the truth. I feel like a lot of you have tried to avoid more disaster by keeping your options open when it comes to love and not really, once things get, I'm gonna tell you, a lot of you Aquariuses, once things get really, you know, you feel like that person starts to catch feelings or you start to catch feelings a little bit. It scares you and you run for the hills. All right. You are trying to avoid disaster, the disaster that happened in the past. Right. Um, you're not being honest with yourself is also what I'm getting. All right. I feel like you have other people that try to get through to you, that try to reach you, and there's only a certain level that you're going to let them let them touch. All right. There's something about needing to forgive someone and learn the lessons from that situation or needing to forgive yourself. Some of you are holding on to a lot of resentment. Yeah. Wow, you need to give a relationship a chance in your life. Give love a chance. For those of you who don't have love because you push it away, you need to give love a chance, okay? You need, oh, look at that. Bottom of the deck, release your ex. You have not let go of your ex. Some of you have kids with this person, like I said. All right. Some of you have kids with this person. I do see a new love potential. I see actually a couple new people coming in for you. Aquarius, you're hot shit this month. One of them could be karmic, so be aware of that. Look at that. As you finally separate or let go of an ex, there's new love opportunity that comes in. That may be worth waiting for, but you're going to have to let go of control issues in this situation. I feel like you can, if you invest yourself, this may be a safe space for you. The past person that you guys were with was not meant to be with you. They're not, they're not your person. OK, um, that was the reason why things fell apart in the first place is what I'm seeing. What other messages do you have for Aquarius here? Yeah, you guys are being your front and center. All right. Be aware that people could be gossiping or talking about you. Be aware of your own gossip as well. Some of you guys are having fun. You're partying, you know, Spending time with other people, planning events, that type of thing. I do see some quick flings that are very passionate, like passionate sexual energy coming up for you. You may have some friends from the past or people from the past show back up um, that you were once acquaintances with or like you were connected in some way. Um Some of you are, I don't know, you are you may be at a distance from your home or I don't know if this is you traveling or what, but I feel like you're not at home 
or you're not home much. <laughs> Look, I feel like there's so much toxicity. Like there's just, somebody is still dealing with karma or a toxic love story. And that's the reason why they're not open to having anything long term. It's like a lot of uh, short term, like quick quickies, quick flings, talking to a lot of people. Yeah, you guys are just in this in this detached energy when it comes to dating. That's where you're at. All right. Let's see what else. What other messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, some of you are breaking. I'm telling you, you need freedom when it comes to relationships. Yeah, you guys are debilitated in some way. Your focus is on yourself, okay? Um, you feel uncomfortable. When you are uncomfortable, you retreat to yourself. There's a lot of tension that you're feeling or surrounding you. I do feel like you are thinking a lot about relationships or friendships. You're definitely reviewing or going over the things that you want to achieve. Some of you are going over a situation so that you can strengthen longer term opportunities for yourself. I feel like a lot of you have been um, uncomfortable because you're being made to mature or grow up and think differently. And it's a different lifestyle for you. But it's, I do see it being something that you can sustain long term. I think you're really trying to figure out who's here for the short term and who's not. And there's a lot of short term people I'm seeing around you. I feel like you're gaining clarity about that. There might even be some secrets that come out for you. Yeah, you're gaining clarity about who you want to have in your life and build roots with and who's just here for the fun times is what I'm, you know, what I'm seeing for you guys. I want to see what you need to work on. What can you tell me? What does Aquarius need to work on? right now for September what do they need to work on <laughs> I'm sorry guys but like the cards are really calling you out self-sabotage self-love all right part of loving yourself is knowing that you sabotage you know that you do things to sabotage relationships in your life some of you the sabotage could be not paying attention to the red flags some of you is like catching feelings for somebody that, you know, where things get good and then you think it's too good to be true, so then you become detached. But the universe is telling you that's what you need to work on. Loving yourself first enough to not sabotage things. Some of you guys are partying too much or there's somebody that you need to let go of that may be wanting their freedom, wanting to be wild. They may be partying too much themselves, all right? Yeah, dealing with some type of rejection. Some of you guys are feeling stuck in, a, in rejection. And when I say stuck in rejection, stuck in the past where a relationship didn't work out. That's rejection. The universe is rejecting you. Even if you were the one that did the deciding to walk away because you felt like you, you know, that person pushed you to that point or whatever the case may be, there's feelings of being stuck in rejection that you're... You literally hold it and it holds you hostage. You know, you hold on to it. It's like a something that definitely hinders you from growing and moving forward. Let's see what your advice is. Advice, you will recover. All right, you will recover. You also have the grass is greener where you water it. So where you are giving, where you are nurturing, you know, what you are nurturing and giving to is what's going to grow. So if you're giving your energy to positive people and positive outcomes and you're investing and doing all of that, 
in good things and good people and that's what's going to come back to you if you're not investing if you're detached if you're only you know you you're here for a short what is it if you're here for a good time not a long time type of thing that's what you're going to get back all right alone time is needed a lot of you need to spend time by yourself not entertaining tom dick and harry or whatever but really focusing on you and taking a good look within yourself are you happy are you really happy and happiness is fleeting let's forget happiness are you at peace because i could tell you now by this reading you're not you're not someone's actions and words are not in alignment that's your own you're saying you want something but not doing anything to go get it some of you aren't even saying you want it you just think it you know it's like that energy well if i say i don't want it you know then i don't have to feel um disappointed when it doesn't come don't make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions make sure that you guys you know are using protection okay um i don't know why i just got that but make sure you're using protection make sure that you guys are not having knee-jerk reactions to situations and you guys are focused on being productive towards the goals that you're trying to achieve all right that's what i have for you aquarius i hope this was helpful please be sure to like share comment Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. I love you guys. I hope you're loving on yourselves and I hope you find value in this video. All right, make sure you go ahead and leave me a like so I know that you like this type of content. All right, peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.